Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White. March 2nd, Provoke to Love. Teach me, Father, what to say. Teach me, Father, how to pray. Teach me all along the way how to be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus. I would be like Jesus. Help me, Lord, to daily grow more and more like Jesus. Provoke to love. I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. Psalm 39, verse 1. My children, watch unto prayer and become more and more careful in regard to your words and your deportment. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. It is poor policy to give the enemy the slightest advantage. My son, be gentlemanly, and you will strengthen your influence over those with whom you work. Never speak unadvisedly. Let your respect for yourself as Christ's representative keep you from giving way to anger. If we respect ourselves by wearing Christ's yoke, we shall increase our influence tenfold. Human nature will continue to be human nature but it can be elevated and ennobled by union with the divine nature. It is by partaking of the divine nature that men and women escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. Truth must be practiced in order to be a power in the world. When truth abides in the heart, the daily experience is a revelation of the controlling power of Christ's grace. Never keep the truth in the outer court. Let the Holy Spirit stamp it on the soul. Reverence God and his purchased possession. Be careful of your manners because you are Christ's representative. Guard your words carefully and labor earnestly for the conviction and conversion of sinners. Keep the heart uplifted to God in prayer. When unkind, untrue words are spoken to you, do not lose control of yourself. Remember that a soft answer turneth away wrath. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1. And that he that rules his spirit is greater than he that taketh a city. A true Christian is a gentleman. Those who are filled with conceit think it their privilege to say many things that might better be left unsaid. Fewer words and more kind actions would make them a power for good. God declares, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Matthew chapter 12 verse 37. All our words and deeds, good and evil, are passing in review before God. How solemn the thought! The Word of God warns us not to provoke one another to wrath, but there is one kind of provoking that is justifiable. Paul writes, Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. This Day with God, March 2nd. I encourage you to be ye doers of the Word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.